Okay, so this is problem 4C6, and this is a problem where you, there's a mass P travels on the path and hits mass A, and attached mass A is a spring. The whole problem, you're going to have to try to find the delta X of the spring using the work energy equation and the impact equation. So the givens in the formula, the mass P gravity is 10 pounds, and the mass A gravity is 5 pounds and the spring constant is 100 pounds per feet. Given the equations we know already, the mass, and uh, the work energy equation, the kinetic at A plus the kinetic at A equals, the non-conservative at A equals the kinetic at point 0.2 plus the potential point 0.2. So we're gonna make some tables of the kinetic and potentials from A to B. So the uh, T1 at A, T2 at A, and then for that is mass. And then we can have another table, which is V1 and V2. From A to B. V1 is potential and T1 is kinetic. So we set the zero line at the mass A. So there is no potential at mass A. So, so and there, this height was given and it was 10 feet. So at mass P, the potential one is just m p h, and potential at two is zero. The kinetic at one is dropped from at rest. It says in the problem, so I mean it's zero. And then the t two is one half m v squared. So given all that, using this equation would be 0 plus mgh plus no non-conservative forces equals the potential which is 0 plus 1 half mpv squared which will do v at point b. <clears throat> so then you can see the masses cancel out and then if you solve this symbolically to solve for VB, VB equals square root of 2GH. And using, plugging these formulas, you get VB equals square root of 2 times 32.174. This is in feet per second squared times the height, which is 10. And VB equals 25.37 feet per second. So that is just using the work energy formula from A to B. But after contact, the masses stick together, so the mass A and the mass P would be combined. So using this velocity, we can combine those two uh, using the impact formula. So it's M1V1 equals M2V2. Mass 1 is mass P, V1 is this VB, mass 2 is the mass A plus mass P, and V2 is what we're trying to find. So mass 1 is MPVB equals MP plus MAVC, given at the initial start. So when you solve for VC equals MPV. P over M P plus M A. And when you plug in those numbers, V C equals mass P, which is ten times twenty five point three seven over ten plus five. So you get V C equal to sixteen point nine one five feet per second. 
Now we have VC with both masses combined, and then we can plug it in and find another table using the energy to eventually find the potential delta x in the spring. So we use this, make another table over here of T1, T2, mass P, and V1, V2, of mass, and the spring. So the potential of the spring, the potential of the mass is zero from both C to D, and then the potential of the spring at D is one half K delta X squared. And when you take the kinetic energy, there's nothing at point two because at the, when the spring is fully compressed, the velocity is zero. And up here is one half M V slash like A, so they combine and you do V C squared. So plugging it into the original work energy equation, you get one half M A plus M P V C squared equals one half K delta X squared. And solving for delta x, you can see the one halves cancel out. And solving for delta x, you're gonna get symbolically square root of v c squared divided by the spring constant. And when you plug all those numbers in. And you can use the 16.915 for BC divided by the 100, which is the spring constant, delta x equals 1.15 feet. And that is your final answer.